here we are. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, do it now. I, I spend way too much time on Instagram to only have 16,000 followers. So please go, please go on Instagram and give me a follow. Thank you. And now we're on YouTube. I started doing a podcast with my brother. It was great. We got a lot of good feedback. But I'm going to bring you a lot of content, so please subscribe on YouTube. And we're going to get right into this great boot review of my top <laughs> boot suggestions for fall for guys. Very versatile. We're going to go from lowest, from cheapest to highest um, price. Okay, so first is these Eastlands. These are the Shermans, okay? Um, made from Eastland. Eastland is a great company um, that is a heritage company. We'll talk more about heritage companies maybe a little bit later. But the heritage company um, that originated in Maine, that's basically all you have to know, I think 1955. But these uh, Shermans are pretty much their signature boot. It's this nice mock toe design with a real Vibram sole or Vibram or however you want to say it. Um, and they just look amazing. They look great. It's a real heritage company. They come with these cool uh, leather laces, which I like a lot. And they're just very stylish, will appeal to a lot of different guys. They're super affordable, and that's why they're first on this list. Because even though they're 225 on the website, they're always running deals. And you can go, and I see them on Nordstrom Rack all the time, guys. Nordstrom Rack for like literally $50 to $100 in that range, depending on the, on the leather quality and uh, depending on which, sorry, leather version. And um, yeah, they're just very affordable. They look amazing and um, very, very nice as a first option as a gateway into other boots. So we're gonna chuck those away. David's gonna hand me these Clark's boots. And these are also a must, a absolute must. If you are trying to get into the boot game or even not, you need Clark's Desert Boots, guys. The Clark's Desert Boots. These are the original taupe colored. Okay, the taupe colored, they're like a sand color. And these are the original desert boots that have this weird crepe sole. It's basically rubber, okay? And the whole appeal is that um, it's a softer landing. So that when you drop your heel and you kick the floor, it's just gonna feel a little bit softer as if you're walking, you know how you guys, when you walk on like rubber or something like that, it's just a little bit softer. So that's what these feel like, but really versatile. And I love how they're so easy and quick to get on and off because of this, uh, you know, they only have, let me see, four eyelets. So it's very easy to just get them on and off. I really love that about these. And they're extremely versatile. I recommend, if you don't like the crepe sole, because not everyone likes them and they get dirty, they make one that's actually cheaper with a rubber sole, with a, with a hard rubber sole. Um, those are called the bush acres. So check those out. Number two on the list. These will run you anywhere from, I think they originate $140, $140 is the retail, but again, always running sales. I always see them. I got these on Guilt, 39 bucks. Pretty crazy. Um, that's the second one on the list. The third one, we're jumping high now. We're jumping high. We're going high end. We are going to the Rangers. Okay, let's go Rangers. You guys know. Maybe we'll add a little Ranger thing. Um, the Iron Rangers from Red Wing Heritage, okay? This will be the top tier um, as far as I'm going because I have to pay attention to how much I spend. These are the Iron Rangers in the amber harness leather, okay? When you get these, it's uh, super stiff and you work them in and it took me months and months and they, they smell kind of funky right now, but they are well worth it. They last forever. You can see I keep conditioning them. Um, they get a lot of character as you go. I just got a crazy, check this out. I got a crazy scratch in there. I don't know if you can see. So um, that, that scratch, but it's cool. Like I'm not pissed off about the scratch, which is I think refreshing. It's just part of the character of the boot and now I know I got a really cool scratch and they were able to withstand it. So um, the thing about these, they look amazing. The leather's the best quality out there. They're made in the Red Wing factory in America, unlike the other uh, two that I mentioned so far. These are made in America. Goodyear welted so you can resole them. Um, and these again, the difference about these, the big appeal is that the more you wear them, the better they get. And of course, um, they're gonna last you a lifetime. So I really, really love these. And they're so versatile, they look great. Look, with the cap toe and everything, they look amazing. So money, these vary. Um, they're 320 from the Red Wing website, which you can go to, that's fine. I got these on Brooks Brothers on sale for 180, but that was a limited run, they don't really have them anymore. But uh, the best way to get them, go to Sierra Trading Post or Nordstrom Rack, and they have factory seconds, which means a slight blemish or something. It's really not a big deal, and I'll show you at the end of the video a little bonus I just picked up at Nordstrom Rack for 75 bucks. But again, uh, these will run you, again, more expensive, maybe 320, but if you buy these again, the factory seconds will run you from like 150 to 200 on Sierra Trading Post and, and Nordstrom Rack. So check them out. Great boots, probably my most favorite boot in the collection, and that's that. And then finally, as Pete is wearing, I just picked up from Nordstrom Rack. Also, you guys know I freaking love Nordstrom Rack. I literally live there. So I picked up these very nice Doc Martens, and I wasn't so sure about them. They got this um, kind of bright yellow stitching around the, the soles there. And of course, they got these nice rubber, airy soles. Um, and I just thought, you know, I've, I've kind of had my eye on them, but it's, it's, it's such a polarized design that I wasn't sure that I would like them. And you know, I put them on, I, I found these for 40 bucks. These will run you, again, these are not the most expensive ones, but I just wanted to 
throw these in at the end because they were here. Again, I got these in suede. They're usually in those in those plasticky, hard um, kind of Napa leather. And these I got in a nice suede. I want to show you how soft and buttery this suede is. Um, look how nice that suede is. Oh my god, it's so nice. It's so good. So um, I really like them. They look amazing. Maybe we'll show some on feet. I don't even know at this point. Um, but they, they really do look good. I think if you get used to them, they're a cultural icon. You see Miley Cyrus was wearing them in her in a Wrecking Ball video, which I'm not such a fan of. Um, but Pete was wearing them. Pete Township from The Who um, was wearing them. Kurt Cobain used to wear them. So very, very cool. Um, and I kind of like them as, a, as an, as an uh, kind of an offbeat, you know, when I'm wearing all black and I'm feeling all black and punk. These are my option now. I, I love it. Um, and yeah, check them out. Very cool. An icon, definitely. I'll put them back here. These were 40 but originally 130 uh, um, 135 you can see them on Amazon for around I think uh, 99 or something like that I, I have another pair coming just to compare and now the honorable mention is these look these are pretty cool This is this is another one from Red Wing of course like I said Red Wing for me is the tip of the the, the top of a What's the word iceberg tip of the iceberg? No, that's all I want to say. <laughs> I want to say these are the this is the cream of the crop here we go. <laughs> This is the cream of the crop as far as, as as American boots go and as far as I think style and everything these are called the blacksmiths um, I got them in this really cool rough out leather. It looks like suede and they wax it so it's like waterproof. But really what it is, is that, hold on, I'm going to try to show you this because I can't. But basically they take the normal smooth leather and they flip it around. So this is actually the, usually the inside. But in, the, in, in this shoe, it's the outside. They look amazing. And these are originally 300. The Iron Rangers I showed you before were 320, but these are 300. I got these as factory seconds because I think the defect is that slight discoloration on the toe. You can't even notice it. Who cares? Um, and these were ready for this. A hundred bucks, a hundy, as we say, a hundy, and I got 25% off, so they were $75. Made in America, resolable, recraftable, and they look pretty dynamite with a pair of jeans. Really love it. And that's going to round up today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This was my collection and also my, this is not my whole collection, obviously, but um, this are my top picks for fall for guys. And I hope, you know, you guys are maybe identifying with my style a little bit, my choices. And I'm so happy that you're here and watching. So please hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram also, the mensch at the dot, the mensch, and peace. And, and have a good night, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I mean, just leave a comment. Oh, my God. Okay, if you don't follow me.